The essence of competitiveness is liberated when we allow people to believe what they think and do is important and then get out of the way and let them do it. And this week, the Greater Essex County District School Board, along with Samwood Secondary School, provided 600 disabled athletes with a platform to shine as they competed in the board's annual Special Olympics event. Over a two-day span, the athletes competed in a total of 10 competitions. For the 350 elementary school athletes, they took part in a total of four events, including the 50 and 100 meter races, the standing long jump, and the ball throw. As for their 250 secondary school counterparts, they competed in a total of six competitions in all, including the 50, 100, and 200 meter races, the standing and running long jump, and the shot put. Promoting a healthy lifestyle and the importance of physical fitness was the key message that Warren Kennedy, the Director of Education for the Greater Essex County District School Board, was hoping to convey to all participants during this two-day event. What we, we want to do is uh, we give the children something to look forward to, and by, um, by hosting this event, essentially what we're saying is that fitness is, uh, you know, should be an important part of your life, and you just can't come to an event like this and expect to participate. This is something that you need to prepare for. And hopefully they'll take the lessons that they learn into their regular lives and, um, and fitness will be an, an important component. Kenzie Cowan and Ursula Fadri, two 8th graders from Essex Public School who both competed in the 50 and 100 meter races, reflected on their achievements once their events had concluded. Were you excited to compete today? And today? Yeah, I was excited. And why was that? Because I won the race. Well, winning's always fun. Um, what's your favorite part of this in particular event? I like the 50 meter. And why do you like the 50 meter race? Because I like trying my best. My favorite part of this event is the 50 meter race. And why is that? It was great. Did you have fun today? Yes, I did have fun. And what was the mo What was the best part about today? I won the race. That's I got first place and second place. Does that make you feel good? That does make me feel good. A hundred student volunteers from all across the district volunteered their time earlier this week to ensure that all of the festivities at Sandwich went off without a hitch. And according to Merriam Woodall, the chairperson for the Special Olympics Committee, plenty of sweat equity was exerted by a number of different people to ensure that all athletes participating in this year's event had an equal opportunity to succeed. It takes a whole year of planning. We get together as a committee. Once we finish here today, we're going to get together and look at what really worked, what was successful, what pieces we need to improve on for next year, and then we'll start planning for next year. It takes a whole year of planning for us. What sort of challenges did you face? Some of the challenges, well, transportation, getting the kids on time. We're still trying to work that out with the bus companies to get them here on time. Some of the other challenges uh, we looked at is really making sure that every athlete has a fair and equal chance to be able to demonstrate their skills and talents today. So really getting the schools to register on time, you know, just those common things that we have, every system has, because it's, it's so big. For the Greater Essex County District School Board, this two-day extravaganza was intended to provide each and every athlete with a fair and equal opportunity to demonstrate their athletic ability in a fun and open competition 
And by all accounts, everyone who participated in this year's affair left with a smile on their face, grinning from ear to ear, because the intended objective that everyone set out to obtain was achieved. For CFTV, I'm Kevin McShan.